Grado Mania is running wild here on Real Take Wrestle Talk because, <laughs> because you know, I read o- online there was you know a little bit of rumors that Grado after you know he gets uh, after he gets you know the 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 go ahead to leave the country, leave Scotland, could be headed over to AEW, and a lot of people think that that could be a good fit for Grado. And for those who are not familiar with Graham Steveley, he is I. Arguably the biggest star in Scottish wrestling history. Yeah. It's Grado time. Yes, it is. So for people who don't know, Grado is a wrestler from Scotland. He essentially is like the Daniel Bryan, I would say, of ICW in Scotland. He had some great matches. He comes out to a Madonna song, If You Call My Name, which is like the most over song (laughs) there is in, in pro wrestling. Grado, he he's like I said, an underdog. He, you know, he's a bigger guy, but he like as far as like you know, physically, he looks physically unfit. But man, he works his ass off. He can go until until like you're blue in the face. I think he blew up Drew McIntyre in the match they had, and actually in that match at one of ICW's biggest shows a few years ago, basically the WrestleMania, he actually challenged Drew McIntyre for the championship, and he won. And the pop he got was bigger than I think anything I've seen on independent wrestling ever. Like he's so crazy over his, his entire gimmick is that he's a fun loving guy who who is an underdog and like he's the arguably like one of the best under. I think Daniel Bryan is probably the best underdog ever. But man, Grado is underrated as far as being an underdog. He can work, and his gimmick. I think his gimmick of, you know, coming out to this song and being a happy, jovial guy, but also being able to perform in the ring, it's perfect for AEW. Because he would go, if he goes to like WWE or NXT, he would maybe work at NXT, but if he goes to WWE, he'd be lost to the shuffle. He wouldn't, he would never be showcased to the degree he probably should be. But But AEW does a very good job of showcasing specific talent when they need to. And if they don't need to showcase the talent like that, you know what they do, Trevor? They don't put them out there and have them job to other people. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, it, like, oh my God, a vignette? Uh, <laughs> the, what, what, what are these things? Like, but WWE doesn't do those like types of things anymore. But AEW has perfected that, which is why I think Grado as an underdog, Grado as like th- this character, he'd be crazy over in AEW. Much, I think he would kind of turn into a figure, kind of like uh, uh, Orange Cassidy. That like I see him like very similar. He could be take a very similar path as Orange Cassidy. But Trevor, you and I were talking about Grado a little bit. What do you think about Grado potentially going to AEW or maybe NXT, man? What are we thinking? So, you know, um, I wouldn't mind seeing Grado in, uh, in NXT UK. Um, I think he'd be he'd fit in well there. Um, or just NXT, period, honestly. But the thing is, you have so much talent in NXT. I feel like at some point, a lot of those talented guys are going to take the backseat, and some of them actually are, like Kushida. I mean, even though Kushida is pretty much on TV almost every week, but he's just here lately anyway. But like he's he's taking a backseat. You got um, uh, you know, we got a a couple of different names that have taken backseats in the NXT. But and I personally like NXT, but I feel like in AEW, like you said, he will be front and center. He'll be uh, seen seen for most of his talent used for. Like his talent, I, I I love the fact that he comes out to Madonna. I, I thought that was hilarious. I thought the way when they you mar- call my name, it's like a little, <laughs> little prayer, prayer down. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so great. It's so catchy. It's so great. It's so great. Like, cause have you seen his YouTube videos? Oh, they're amazing. The when when they first tried to market him, like sign Grado, like yes, I thought the campaign yeah. was amazing. Yeah. It was so uh, good. I think I think that's great, and and you know Liam just said in the chat he should rekindle his beef with Lashley at the Royal Rumble or something, and you know that'd be cool. well that, that would be while that would be cool. My big fear is if he goes to WWE like the main roster, it, he's just it's not gonna work for him, it, and it's not it has nothing to do with Grado. It's just that gimmick would not work in WWE. They don't they don't have the 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 wherewithal. They don't have the bandwidth, or they actually have the bandwidth. They they just don't have the patience to deal with like or to put up with that. 
uh, if we're being real. I mean, because they're gonna they're gonna discard him they're gonna discard him like a, in a week he's gonna get one pop maybe they're gonna they're gonna do a show in Scotland he's gonna get one pop and then when they come back to the U S they're gonna be like oh well, but damn it I'm I, I can't no and they're not gonna get his song too because WWE doesn't get licensed music no. Tony Khan at least has shown that he's willing to do that you know he he got uh, J uh, uh, Tarzan Boy for Jungle Boy he got uh, he got uh, that uh, I can't name, name the song the song by the Pixies for Orange Cassidy which fits oh, yeah. his. Oh, it fits him so well. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.